good morning viewers welcome to my youtube channel the diligent coaching seminary this is an academic channel in which i upload the videos which is related to the tutorials uh, to the students of the schools and college levels and i want all the students to watch my videos and get benefited in your study and today once again i have come with a new video and uh, before to start my today's tutorial i want to request all the students please kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon such that whenever i upload any new tutorials to you you will get the notification and get benefited for you and i also want to request to like share and comments in my video and if any student want the coaching in the particular topic of the particular subject of the particular class please kindly mention that in the comment so that i can address uh, your request and bring the required tutorial videos to you now today i want to start my lecture and in my previous videos i have given you the lecture on the fourth chapter of the class 10 students in the subject of science today once again i have brought here the lectures for class 10 students in the subject of science in the same chapter force and i have already given you two parts of the fourth chapter tutorial and today i have come here with the third part of the tutorial of the chapter 4s of class 10 science book so let's start our tutorial today and in my previous video i have explained about the general concept of the gravitational force then i have explained about the newton's law of gravitation and we have derived the formula for the gravitational force and we have discussed detailly about the concept of the gravitational force and today we will discuss more concept about the gravitational force i have already discussed you about the universal gravitational constant g its definition its mathematical meaning and its si unit now let's discuss detailly about the gravitational constant g gravitational force uh, further first of all you know g is one of the proportionality constant and g is also called a gravitational constant but uh, what is the reason that g is called universal gravitational constant that you have to know first of all you know the value of g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square and that value of g is applicable that means it can be applied for every pairs of object in the universe that means whenever two objects are there and there is gravitational force and we have to uh, use their universal gravitational constant and this value of the universal gravitational constant g can be applied for every pairs of object in the universe and it is not affected by the medium in which those objects are located and it is not affected by the temperature pressure and state of the object as well so the constant z that means it is the proportionality constant z is called universal gravitational constant and gravitational force is also called an universal force uh, because the gravitational force exists between each pair of object in the universe and it is present even in microscopic object to use objects like um, it exists uh, between heavenly bodies like planets stars galaxies satellites etc and it is not affected by temperature pressure of the object so the gravitational force is called universal force and you know newton's law of gravitation is also called newton's universal law of gravitation that means it is also one of the universal law and the reason behind this is this law is applicable for each pair of objects in the universe from microscopic to use objects and it is also not affected by the medium between two objects or state temperature and pressure of the object that is the reason the newton's law of gravitation is also called an universal law 
so from here i think you have understood the gravitational constant z is called universal gravitational constant and similarly the gravitational force is also called uh, universal force and the newton's law of gravitation is also called the newton's universal law of gravitation now let's discuss some analytical question uh, such kind of question can be asked in your examination students uh, what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when distance between them is doubled keeping the mass constant that means suppose we have any two objects and uh, they have certain mass and they are separated by certain distance and definitely you know uh, there is gravitational force between them but if the distance between those object is uh, doubled than previous then what will happen to the gravitational force uh, let's see analytically uh, first of all here suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by distance d from their center and suppose f with the gravitational force between them now we know that the formula of the gravitational force is f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square now according to the question when distance between them is doubled keeping the mass constant then you know definitely there is the change in gravitational force and suppose the new gravitational force is f1 suppose then uh, you know the formula of gravitational force again f1 equals to same formula g m1 m2 by d square but here distance is doubled so in the place of d square here we are writing 2d square okay so in the place of d square we are writing 2d bracket whole square then here in the second step we obtain f1 equals to g m1 into m2 by here 2d whole square is 4d square then this 4 can be taken out separately you know then here we have written f1 equals to 1 by 4 g m1 into m2 by d square and you know g m1 into m2 by d square is f so in the place of g m1 into m2 by d square we are writing f and in the place of 1 by 4 we are writing same 1 by 4 so this bracket part is f then this 1 by 4 is written as it is then here we have written f1 equals to 1 by 4 f so from here it is clear that this is the initial gravitational force f then f1 is the final gravitational force and final gravitational force is one fourth of initial gravitational force it means the gravitational force is being decreased and gravitational force decreases by four times when the distance between any two objects is doubled keeping the mass constant so mathematically it is clear that whenever we uh, doubled the distance between two objects and keeping the mass constant then the gravitational force decreases by four times now let's see another analytical question that is what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when the distance between them is hard keeping their mass constant here also we calculate analytically by same idea suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by distance d from their center and suppose f with the gravitational force between them now we know that f equals to the formula of gravitational force is g m1 into m2 by d square now according to the question when the distance between those two objects is halved halved means decreased to half uh, that uh, then keeping the mass constant then definitely there is change in gravitational force and suppose the f1 be the now new gravitational force after change then we have to write the same formula f1 equals to g m1 into m2 but now in the place of d square we are writing 1 by 2 d square because question has said the distance between them is hard that means decreased to half so we are writing 1 by 2 d square then here in the second step f1 equals to g m1 into m2 by here 1 by 2 d whole square is it will be 1 by 4 d square then you know this 4 of the denominator will go to the numerator so in the third step here we have written f1 equals to here 4 g m1 into m2 by d square because this 4 will go to the numerator and we have written this separately and now here we have written f1 equals to 4 g m1 into m2 by d square and you know this uh, 
सी एम वन इंटू एम टू बाई डी स्क्वायर दिस पार्ट इज इक्वल्स टू एफ हियर सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ जी एम वन इंटू एम टू बाई डी स्क्वायर अगेन वी आर राइटिंग एफ देन हियर वी हैव अपटेंड एफ वन इक्वल्स टू फोर एफ सो फ्रॉम हियर इट इज क्लियर दैट दिस एफ वन इज फाइनल ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स फाइनल ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज फोर टाइम्स इनिशियल ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स so it is being clear that the gravitational force is increased by four times so hence the gravitational force is increased by four times when distance between any two objects is halved keeping their mass constant so it is obtained here analytically now let's see another type of analytical question here again here we have the question what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when distance between them is tripled keeping the mass constant this also should be found out by similar idea like first of all suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 separated by distance d from their center and suppose f be the gravitational force between them then we know the formula of the gravitational force it is f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square then now according to the question when the distance between them is tripled that means increases by three times and mass is kept constant then definitely again there is change in gravitational force and we have supposed suppose f1 be the gravitational force between them now after the change in distance then again we have written the formula f1 equals to g m1 into m2 now here since the condition has said the distance is tripled so in the place of d square we have written 3d whole square so now f1 equals 2 we obtain z m1 into m2 and 3d whole square is it is 9d square and you know this 9 is in the denominator so it can be again taken out separately and here we have written it is f1 equals 2 1 by 9 z m1 into m2 by d square and we are writing this z m1 into m2 by d square because here in the place of z m1 into m2 by d square we can write f because f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square so here we have obtained f1 equals to 1 by 9 f so from here it is clear that the final gravitational force f1 equals to 1 by 9th of initial gravitational force f it means the gravitational force is being decreased by 9 times so hence the gravitational force decreases by 9 times when the distance between two objects is tripled keeping the mass constant now let's see another question what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when distance between them is decreased by 3 times keeping their mass constant Uh, this also is found out by similar idea suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by distance d from their center and suppose f with the gravitational force between them now we know that the formula of the gravitational force is f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square now when distance between them is decreased by 3 times keeping their mass constant according to the condition of the question and again there will be change in the gravitational force and here we have supposed f1 be the gravitational force between them after changing their distance and now here we obtain f1 equals to g m1 into m2 by now in the place of d square we are writing here 1 by 3 d square because question has said the distance between two object is decreased by 3 times so here we are writing 1 by 3 d whole square now here in the next step we obtain f1 equals to g m1 into m2 by here 1 by 3 d whole square it will be 1 by 9 d square and you know again this 9 of the 1 by 9 it will go to the numerator so we can write 9 in the numerator and here we have obtained f1 equals to 9 g m1 into m2 by d square and now again in the place of g m1 into m2 by d square here we have written f because g m1 into m2 by d square is equals to f and here we have obtained f1 equals to 9f it means 
the final gravitational force equals to nine times the initial gravitational force. So here, here we are obtaining the gravitational force is being increased by nine times. So the gravitational force increases by nine times when the distance between two objects is tripled keeping their mass constant. Now let's see another uh, similar kind of analytical question again and this is what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when now mass of both objects are doubled keeping the distance between them constant. Now uh, we are discussing different kind of question. In the previous questions uh, it was mentioning that the distance between those objects are changed. Distance are doubled, distance is tripled, distance is halved, distance is decreased by three times like that. But here now mass is being changed and distance is kept constant. So what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of both objects are doubled keeping their mass, keeping the distance between them constant. The now suppose two objects having uh, masses m1 and m2 and separated by distance d from their center. And suppose f be the gravitational force between them. We know that the formula of the gravitational force is f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square. Uh, now according to the condition of position, when the mass of the both objects are doubled, keeping the distance between them constant. Now again there will be change in the gravitational force and here we have supposed uh, F1 be the gravitational force between them. Now we are writing F1 equals to G. Now in the place of M1 we are writing 2M1 and in the place of M2 we are writing 2M2 because question has said the mass of both objects are doubled. So here in the both in the place of M1 and M2 we have to write 2M1 and 2M2 because both masses are doubled. Now distance is kept constant so in the place of D square we are writing as it is D square. Then we obtain here 2 uh, multiply 2 it will be 4 and 4 can be written separately outside. So here we have obtained F1 equals to 4G M1 into M2 by D square. Now again in the place of g m1 into m2 by d square we can write f because g m1 into m2 by d square equals to f and here we have obtained f1 equals to 4f that means final gravitational force equals to 4 times initial gravitational force. So from here it will be clear that the gravitational force is increased by 4 times. Hence, the gravitational force between those objects increases by four times when mass of both object is doubled, keeping the distance between them constant. So now let's see another kind of analytical question and let's find out the answer between them. And the question is like this. What happens to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of both objects are halved? keeping the distance between them constant. It means now the mass of both objects are reduced to half but distance is not changed. Then what will happen to the gravitational force? And here again we have solved by similar way. Suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 separated by the distance d from their center and suppose f with the gravitational force between them. Then we know that the gravitational force f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square. It is the formula of the gravitational force. Then now when mass of both objects are halved, keeping the distance between them constant. It is according to the condition of the equation. Then again there will be the change in the gravitational force and here we have supposed F1 be the gravitational force between them after change. Now F1 equals to G. Now in the place of M1 we have written 1 by 2 M1. And in the place of M2, we have written 1 by 2 M2 because the condition here is the mass of both objects are halved. Halved means reduced to half. Both are reduced to half. So here 1 by 2 M1 into 1 by 2 M2 and distance is kept constant. So in the place of D square, we have written as it is D square. 
now here 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 it will be 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is in the numerator and it can be written separately 1 by 4 then now in the place of g m1 into m2 by d square inside the bracket we have written f because f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square then here we have obtained f1 equals to 1 by 4 f so from here it is clear that the final gravitational force f1 equals to one fourth of the initial gravitational force f that means here the gravitational force is being decreased by four times hence the gravitational force between those objects decreases by four times when the mass of both objects is hard keeping the distance between them constant now let's see one more analytical question and the question is what happens to the gravitational force between two objects what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when the mass of both object is doubled and distance between them is tripled this is the question what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of both object is doubled and distance between them is tripled now it is again different kind of question Previously, we have discussed when distance is changed, keeping the mass constant. And second type of question, we have discussed what happens when the mass is changed, keeping the distance constant. Now here we are changing both. That means mass of both objects is doubled and distance between them is tripled. Now what will happen? Let's see analytically. Suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by a distance d from their center. Suppose f with the gravitational force between them. Then we know that the formula of the gravitational force f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square. Now when mass of both objects are doubled and distance between them is tripled according to the condition of the equation. Now again there will be change in the gravitational force and here we have supposed the f1 be the gravitational force between them then now f1 equals 2 we have to write z then since the question has said mass of both objects are doubled so we have written here in the place of m1 and m2 we have written 2m1 2m2 and since the question has said distance between them is tripled so in the place of d square we are writing 3d whole square and then you know we can multiply 2 into 2 it is 4 in the numerator and 3d square it whole square it will be 9d square so 9 is in the denominator so we are writing directly here 4 by 9 then inside the bracket it will remain only z m1 into m2 by d square so here we have obtained f1 equals to 4 by 9 f because in the place of z m1 into m2 by d square we have written here f because f equals to z m1 into m2 by d square above here so from here we are seeing that the final gravitational force f1 equals to 4 by 9 times the initial gravitational force f now if here is 4 by 9 now you have to understand whether it is being increased or decreased and here numerator is less than denominator that is the reason you have to understand that here again gravitational force is being decreased if denominator is less then gravitational force will decrease and if numerator is less gravitational force again decrease so here the gravitational force between those objects decreases by 4 by 9 times when the mass of both object is doubled and distance between them is tripled so I think you have understood what will happen when both mass of object and distance between them are changed then how to find out whether the gravitational force will increase or decrease now let's see another analytical question uh, the question is like this what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of both objects are doubled and distance between them is also doubled so here what we have done both are changed and let's find out the answer of this mathematically first of all suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by distance d from their center 
suppose f with the gravitational force between them as shown here now we know the formula of the gravitational force that is f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square then when mass of both objects are doubled and distance between them is also doubled this is according to the condition of the equation now again there will be change in the gravitational force and we have supposed f1 be the gravitational force between them now after change then f1 equals to g then in the place of m1 and m2 we have written 2m1 and 2m2 because here question has said mass of both objects are doubled then in the place of d square we are writing 2d whole square because the condition here is distance between them is also doubled then here you know that here we can multiply 2 and 2 in the numerator then in the numerator we will have 4 so we have written here separately 4 in the numerator then in the place of 2d square here, here will be 4d square because here is 2d whole square so in the denominator also we obtain 4 so here we obtain 4 upon 4 and uh, then bracket z m1 into m2 by d square and you know 4 and 4 it will be cancelled then here just we obtain z m1 into m2 by d square and in the place of z m1 into m2 by d square we can write f so the result here is the f1 equals to f it means final gravitational force equals to initial gravitational force so it means the gravitational force is not being changed hence the gravitational force between two objects remains unchanged when the mass of both objects is doubled and distance between them is also doubled it is clear from this example now let's see another analytical question and the question is like this what happens to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of both objects are hard and distance between them is also hard it is also similar to previous question but in the previous question both are doubled but here both mass and distance are hard now what will happen let's see mathematically and here suppose two objects having masses m1 and m2 and separated by a distance d from their center and suppose f be the gravitational force between them then now we know that the formula of the gravitational force f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square now according to the condition of question when mass of both objects are hard and distance between them is also hard that means mass and distance of the objects are reduced to half then what will happen definitely now there will be the change in gravitational force and we have supposed f1 be the new gravitational force between them then f1 equals to g then in the place of m1 we have written 1 by 2 m1 and in the place of m2 we have written 1 by 2 m2 then in the place of d square we have written 1 by 2 d square so this is according to the condition of the equation and here we have obtained we can multiply 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 in the numerator it will be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 in the numerator we have written here separately and here in the place of 1 by 2 d square here we can write directly 1 by 4 d square so here in the place of 1 by 2 d whole square we have written 1 by 4 d square so 1 by 4 is in the denominator as well so 1 by 4 is in the numerator and 1 by 4 is in the denominator we have written outside separately then both are cancelled again then here also in the place of g m1 into m2 by d square we can write f because f equals to g m1 into m2 by d square so here we have obtained f1 equals to f it means the final gravitational force equals to initial gravitational force and here also we are obtaining the result that the gravitational force is not being changed the gravitational force between those two objects remains unchanged when the mass of those two objects is hard and distance between them is also hard so in this video we have discussed the different uh, analytical question which can be solved mathematically that means what will happen to the gravitational force when either distance between them is changed that means either increased or decreased 
or what will happen to the gravitational force between two objects when mass of those two objects are either increased or decreased or what will happen to the gravitational force between them when both the mass of those objects and distance between the objects are changed the what is the consequence in the gravitational force that is discussed in the today's video now i'll promise you that i will bring the remaining of this chapter force in my upcoming tutorial videos i want to end my today's lecture i hope you have watched my today's tutorial class and you have tried to understand any concept whatever i have said to you and again i want to request to you please kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon such that whenever i bring new video you'll get the notification in the youtube and also like share and comments in the video so i want to say goodbye and stay blessed thank you